Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to part two of the Storyteller Spotlight, J. Scott Campbell's Danger Girl, issue number one. Okay, so we last left off with Abby Chase taking over the speedboat. She's knocked out Duke, uh, Donovan. And uh, we've got these guys, Jamaicans, man, shooting at her. And so she's trying to hit it and get out of there. All right? So we leave it there. She's, like, leaping over. She, she, there were two paths that she could go here. If you look right here, you can kind of see. So the speedboat's racing up through here. We've got the opportunity to go straight up to where the bad guys are or go over here. So she basically cuts it really fast, like, does a, I don't know, maybe a 180, jumps this, okay, and then here we are. So, um... The boat lands, again, very, very fast scene, very little detail, it's a, quite an open panel. So you get kind of like a nice like mo like, like moment there, a beat. Um, this is, you know, any time anything is inset, it kind of makes your eye stop. So, um, you know, you've got him reacting to what she's done. Um, and then uh, she's, her and um, Donovan are kind of like, they have this moment where, um, you know, He's been knocked out by her punch. She's been, you know, completely, like, shaken up by, like, what they just did in the boat. Um, you've got the fish around and that the skull, the... That he's been, you know, his sort of, like, prize. Um, it's like a gag with, with um, her boobs. And uh, she grabs a fish and <laughs> smacks him in the head. Um, let's see. Like, layout-wise, what we've got is... Let me grab my little, I'll grab like a pointer type thing. Um, so here, check this out. So the flow of these top three panels, I'm trying to avoid the glare. You come in here, it sweeps up here, because you're going to look there. And then he directs your eye with all these shapes. Do you see this? How he has her arms? So it immediately starts to pull you back around this way. This nice shape kind of takes you here. You get this. Um, you know, there's a nice like sweeping motion with the, her smacking him with the fish. Um, this was a little confusing, honestly. The storytelling right here, these two panels, for a split second when I was reading it, I definitely got st stuck and didn't know um, what exactly I was looking at. Um, but uh, this is the propeller of the boat is, like, trying to go, and it's, it's all this stuff is being sucked into it, like the rocks, and so it breaks. So now their boat is broke down. Um but yeah, like this little area right here was a little tiny bit confusing for me. Um, and uh, then you've got this nice shot. It's, again, it's a pause beat. There's a lot of open space, which kind of makes you stop and, and, and look. And this is a waterfall that they're about to go over. Um, this is really good. He, it, it, the, the shape of this panel is stretching time. And I don't know if he did it intentionally, but I think it's really clever. So it, it's, it's just she's realizing that they're in big, big trouble. And it's, it's, you get this tight shot, which again, it's inset, so you're gonna pause on it anyway. But again, the stretch of the panel to me really um, expands the moment. Like it's, it's, it's literally eye opening. Time now is being stretched out. It's, it's, you know, they, they say like, like uh, your whole life can flash before your eyes. You know, that's a lot of information that happens in a split second. So he's, stretching time here and then she reacts to the oh my god and you see her kind of she's she's moving this way there's a, a forced movement of her basically going for probably the brake or the um you know the keys or the steering wheel of the boat okay so then we head up here we'll look at the layout of these so the actions here takes you to here takes you to here and again he's got this shape that's going to start sweeping you back around he's always trying to move you through the page so pulls out a gun it's like you know blah 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 I've got the skull I'm gonna get out of here you didn't do it you didn't achieve your goal um, she, you know there's a pause here she's basically saying hey look there's something behind you and he's like going like how oh, you're not I'm not gonna fall for that stupid gag again um, and then he the click or the click click um, I don't know if that's the gun. That was a little confusing, too. I wasn't 100% sure what he was reacting to, like what the sound was behind him. But anyway, it gives her a moment to kick him. So you go from here to this up here. 
her finger points to there. Again, you're gonna pause there for a second. These little panels, though, you do have, you definitely move through quicker. His toupee falls off, which is pretty funny, and and then um, she's reacting to something. You kind of get the impression that it's probably not this. I'm gonna try to move through some of these pages a little quicker because we'll never get through this book any other way. So, oh, okay, so she sees Natalia coming down from the helicopter. This is a beautiful, beautiful, like nice tall shot here. We'll oh, kind of kind of pull back a little bit here. So you can see it. Um, so let's, we'll kind of try to take in the full page really fast. God damn, the freaking lights. It's the paper is super, super glossy. So it's, it's not, uh, other things that I've gone through don't suffer the same fate as super slick, glossy paper. Um, anyway, but so, okay, so Natalia comes in, beautiful, beautiful, um, like worm's eye view in this panel. Uh, and again, just it's nice, tall, gives this nice sense of height. He really kind of brings you up in here. It's almost got like a curv curvilinear sort of perspective as you move up. Really, really nice. Um, you know, uh, again, you know, w things I'm noticing, the stylish shapes of, of Jeff's um, detailing, you know, like, like classic Campbell, classic Campbell. Her pants kind of have the same sort of like stylistic sort of approach to them. Um, so Natalia's like, da 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 da. Abby's like, eh. Um, this was nice too. So, let me see. Sometimes hard to do it through the phone. Okay, so anyway, so we come through here. This, got this nice jumping shape, and then it kind of pops up. So, your eye kind of comes through here, does this, does this, and you know then his his wig flies off again <laughs> it's pretty funny um, but yeah Jeff is really really excellent I mean like the little detail of like like her boot kicking him her running um, I'm not sure why Saturn is that I guess it's just funny and then the skull all the things going through his mind and then this is just really really nice like man it's turning into just like a movie here the boat goes over the the waterfall I'm assuming that's his wig. Sorry, I'm looking through the phone. It's a little small. Yeah, it's his wig. Um, Natalia grabs Abby, and they're, like, heading off. Um, they don't know each other at this moment, so so Abby's basically be being saved by a stranger, just, just for your information. Um, I love the detail in here. Stuff looks really nice. The colors are beautiful. Um, so let's, we'll kind of soak in the whole shot really fast. Um, I mean, God, it just looks like something out of like a movie or like an animation. It's so, so good. The angle of the helicopter here, you know, it's it's starting to head off. The green, um, you know, the lettering, beautiful, takes you right to this panel. You get swept wrong here, zoom, kaboom, all this. I mean, it's just, man, your eye just dances through this panel. This looks so killer such a sense of scale in this shot it's just really really nicely done i love the explosion it just looks very stylish this arcing line right here is just killer but but again i mean if you really look at the full page i mean it's like you know you come in here he gives you this this takes you to here the circle brings you around this brings you over here this shape here jump jump i mean you just dance right through his page so Again, Jeff just firing on all cylinders and doing very, very killer layouts. And, you know, attention to detail, man. The guy is just on it. He's on his game. And then, boom, the movie starts. You can just hear the, like, the swanky James Bond theme coming on. And, um, you know, really feels like, like the opening credits of a movie, which was obviously intentional. But you know, you've got the dancing sort of, you know, naked girls or half-dressed girls and... The smoke blowing here. We'll try to take it all in. Um, really, really nice. The bullet cutting through the whole piece. You see the smoke? Again, that Leindecker smoke. If you don't know who J.C. Leindecker is, you should definitely Google him. It's L-E-Y-E-N-D-E-C-K-E-R. Um, definitely one of my favorite um, like illustrators. And I know Jeff, I think we were all, we were all pretty heavily into his work. So... Anyway, beautiful, the sort of like double lighting on all the figures gives a nice cast shadows through them. And uh, 
yeah, really, really, really nice. Nice layout. Um, everything's framed pretty well. I mean, I guess if we could look at the flow really quick. Again, these videos do take a little while to do, so, I mean, but, you know, you come in here, you can go this way if you want. Brings you around, you see the bullet, her dancing. This has got, like, a nice thing here. Um, you know, you can flow that way. Nice big head that you can pause on, but yeah, I mean, Jeff is really, really excellent. And then the, so the back shot with the legs and the eyes in the middle, really, really good, really nice. Okay, and now the story starts. We're 10 minutes in. We're not going to get very far. These videos, they take a little bit. So anyway, cuts to like a TV and you see this like kind of crazy guy like sort of chatting it up and he's talking about uh, his expanding card game and, and uh, you see the whip come in and sort of like hit the, hit the TV and uh, then Valerie here is like, you know, hey, I'm watching that. Cuts to like a soap opera. Sydney's like, you were watching that. And then again, Natalia, always brooding, always intense, you know, coming down the stairs. You've got Abby sitting here looking a little sort of like kind of shaken and, and uh, you just get the impression that, that, that some of these people are interacting and maybe Abby is a little more distant with her arms crossed at this point. Um, you know, and then Sydney kind of is like, you know, calling out Valerie just on, on you know, getting a little sharp-tongued with her. But uh, anyway, not, not too much we can talk about on that page really overall. Um, the argument, like all the word balloons, really kind of nice how they did that. And then the beat with Abby in the middle um, kind of reacting to them. You, you move through that pretty quick. Then the knife hits the wall. And you got the big shot of Natalia. Um, this is kind of interesting. So she's standing here and she's kind of, I don't even know, like, trimming her nail with the, the knife or whatever it is. And then um, Abby reacts to the scars on her back. She's got a huge scar that cuts through here. Um, and uh, sorry, I'm just trying to give you guys a, like a full view of it. Really nice how he has the characters all kind of set up here, kind of flow through here. You know, he's he's always got lines that they're, they're not tangents where like like something connects and it's distracting to the eye. They always are pretty um, compatible. Curves here, bring you into here. And again, nice frame shot. So you're gonna you're gonna kind of pause there. Um, even the stuff like this, you know, it just takes you to her. You can kind of see it here. And this knife is telling you, yo, look up here, baby. Look this way. You can head down here and check out all the awesomeness here. But I want you to go there next. Okay? All right, we're going to do one more page. Oh, okay, this is the, the Deuce showing up. So, yeah, Deuce shows up. He's got four glasses of champagne. Nice tall shot again. You're always going to pause on these, like, longer sort of... Um, what do you call it? like introduction shots he he tends to do that a lot like when a character first appears he'll usually give him like uh, an appropriate amount of screen time um he reacts to it being called champagne and says it's insulting he pops the bottle um you know pours abby a glass here i'm going to talk about the flow of this page in a second because it's actually pretty nice this is very very funny little scene right here um he's talking about like danger girls a co you know covert you know group of um the best female operatives in the world and he's like she's like huh and he goes we're spies and he said but you you said females you're a man and he's like or so it would seem and she's like are you kidding he's like yes it's a really really funny kind of quick um gag there but it was it's actually very very well done um but yeah i mean you know he uses this to send you right here um let's see if he uses any other kind of tricks Um, anyway, so you go here, a little in, I, I would almost consider that an inset, even though it's its own little panel, but it's, it's just a real quick kind of moment, um, you know, but you kind of go this way, again, he sweeps you back around this way, she's framed with like a light behind her, the smoke takes you to deuce, the leg brings you to her. I mean, it's just all nice flow. Regardless of if he's moving you through the page, I mean, it still works. Okay, so then 
um, Deuce is kind of like reflecting on his life, and and you, you definitely get the impression that that it's like moment, 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 and then you figure this guy is the guy that's telling all this. The the bigger inset head just gives you the impression that this is his story, or that the, this is a tale that he's telling, um, and uh, you know you got this nice curve little head here i'm not crazy about that honestly it's not bad by any means but it's i get she's like asking a question i think it's a little weird that she's facing that way um and anyway he's he, he's you know telling about like when the wall fell and they dismantled his organization this is a very very cool um page so or half splash um Again, him telling the story, she's listening. You can definitely tell she's concerned or maybe, like, shocked by what he's saying. And you see this great sort of um, imperspective uh, series of guys that are all marching. And, you know, obviously they're evil. The red, the black, they look very intense. You can't see their faces. They're all kicking, you know, like they're, like, like Nazi marches. Um, he's talking about that there's a Fourth Reich that has formed. And uh, anyway, and then he... he basically would like to recruit Abby. So we're going to leave it there. This was tough. Like some of these pages, I mean, they're, again, they're, they're really solid. They're well done. I mean, I think sometimes almost like the more unusual pages will in, eventually be a little more easy to uh, break apart. But I mean, when you've got a page where it's just, you know, not necessarily talking heads, but you know what I mean? Not a ton is going on. Jeff doesn't use a lot of, like, lighting, so I know people had suggested, like, Lee Weeks or Frank Miller or Mignol and stuff like that, and they create a sense of drama in a different way than Jeff, um, so, you know, we'll get to some of the more, um, you know, I don't know what you call it, but more subtle things, I, I mean, this, this is just, it's a different approach to it. Anyway, so I think this will probably end up being two more parts to finish the video, but uh, if you can, you know, hit the like button, and uh, hopefully that this was fun and interesting. Um, take a little sneak peek of the next page. Oh, it's the introduction pages of the characters. So these are fun. I mean, they're almost like the backs of, like, um, like an action figure thing where it's, like, you know, tells the character, you get the nice shot of them, and then little vignettes of, of like, what they're awesome at, you know? It's, it's, like, the toy packaging is, like, already in place. Sydney Savage, again, you get a nice full figure of her, um, then a few action shots of, it's like, okay, so she's crazy enough to wrestle crocodiles, and she's from Australia, and the whip is a big part of her thing, and, and um, you know, she's she's a risk taker, it says. We'll, we'll just finish these, I guess. Okay, so then Silicon Valley, you know, you've got the big key, keyboard. Um, even as a kid, she's doing spreadsheets and her parents are like tripping out. She still loves like, you know, fun things like Mario and Hercules. And she graduated probably as like a child, it looks like, um, you know, so he gives you all the, the pertinent information of each character. And then Abby again, nice full shot. It's the, the money shot and then all the things. So she's, you know, she obviously travels and has lots of artifacts and she's, she's knowledgeable and. She's, she's done all these amazing things. There's been danger in her past. Looks like the Necron Necronomicon on her bookshelf. Um, you know, but she's studying here with a book, and she's obviously good with weapons. And uh, she is, looks like a mugshot, so it looks like she may have been a little bit of a troublemaker, too. She's not just a hero, but she has a past that might be questionable. All right? Okay, so there you go. All right, we'll be back soon. My cat is telling me that, like, the video is too long. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.